Wow, that was fun, wasn't it? The Baltimore Ravens snuck by the Kansas City Chiefs 9-6 on Sunday in a game that was simply brilliant if you happen to love field goals and Brady Quinn. Ray Rice went for 102 yards in this one while Jamal Charles kept running for the Chiefs, racking up 140 yards and 30 carries. But despite Charles' big day, the real star was the Baltimore defense, who surrendered a mere 92 yards through the air to Matt Castle. Speaking of Castle, he received cheers from the crowd when he left the game in the fourth quarter with what is being called a head injury. This came after Castle accounted for three of those KC turnovers with two picks and one lost fumble, none bigger than the one he coughed up inside the Ravens one yard line on what should have been the only touchdown of the game. It also should have been a handoff to Jamal Charles. Thanks a lot, Romeo Cannell. In relief of Castle, Brady Quinn had a chance to force overtime but couldn't get kicker Ryan suck up into field goal range. Another week. Another disappointing loss for Chiefs fans. As for Ravens fans, let's go to Bruce Raffle of Baltimore Beatdown to get his take on this tighter than it should have been game. This is Bruce Raffle for SB Nation's Baltimore Beatdown. The Baltimore Ravens escaped the Kansas City Chiefs with a 9-6 victory at Hourhead Stadium earlier this afternoon. Escape was the right word because a 9-6 victory is something that a team that is contending for the Super Bowl should not be doing. However, it counts the same in the standings as a third to nothing blowout would. Joe Flacco and the Ravens offense had a very difficult time, but thank goodness Matt Castle and the Kansas City offense had an even tougher time. Castle threw two interceptions, but it was his fumble inside the one yard line that probably made the difference in this game. The Ravens were able to drive that ball downfield and kick field goals, but they were unable to put the ball in the end zone themselves. It was a hard fart game on both sides of the ball, but in the NFL, any victory is still a victory. A win is a win, and the Ravens at 4-1 and one sit atop the AFC North. And next week, await the Dallas Cowboys coming to the cozy confines of M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where the Ravens have played very, very well and have not lost a game since the 2010 season. For SB Nation, this is Bruce Raffle. Thanks, Bruce. For KC, things are actually looking up. Even though they are 1-4, they face Tampa Bay before getting a much-needed bye, followed by AFC West matchups against the Raiders and Chargers. For Baltimore, they get Dallas at home and then head to a Week 7 showdown against the Texans on Sunday night. It's safe to say the Ravens can't wait for Weeks 8 and 9. Nothing like a bye and a game against the Browns to cure what ails you. That's it for this one. Follow the Ravens by subscribing to Baltimore Beatdown's channel. And thanks for watching SB Nation.